The last time you guys saw me, I had just awakened from an extremely long nap and I had come to the realization that I had been dreaming. I dreamed my entire NBA career and I was in fact still a junior at the University of Miami. And that's cool, I was ready to move forward, but just then it just dawned on me. You know how you have a dream and you forget certain parts and they come back later? There was one thing that I dreamt about that I forgot to tell you guys about. So let's just go back in time. Let me just doze back off. Let's go back and let me tell you guys this one part of the dream that I forgot. What's going on folks? This is Case Spade the Prospect, aka the Big Blue Chevy Driver, sometimes referred to as the YouTube MVP. And I know I told you guys I was done with NBA 2K12, my player. I put an emphasis on my player because I knew I had this game on deck. I had it in the tuck just waiting. So here's the deal. We showed you guys a trailer, you know, leading up to this game early on and I couldn't go into NBA 2K13 without giving you guys the greatest game ever if you have ever saw a game the best it could ever be is like number two or maybe one b because this is going to be the greatest game you have ever seen so let me set it up i don't think it's necessary but let me set it up in this game that can only be titled the clash of the titans you got me k spade the owner of the rainmaker the wettest jump shot in all the land in a head up battle against neil bridges the beast from the east the pest from the west the mouth from the south i don't know all that stuff this dude is quite possibly the most dominant player in the league even if it is a league that i'm dreaming about he's the most dominant player there so let's get into the game man this is the first play of the game he goes back to the basket and i gotta be honest that scared the hell out of me man i'm a skinny two guard what could i do to this guy so you know i got an answer he starts the game off that way i'm gonna show you my answer get a little sexy and let's see what the commentators think about that he has so much offensive imagination. Always seems like he's ready to try something new. Earlier, Doris Offensive Burke imagination. I didn't even know it was offensive imagination. I thought it was just me trying to catch the defender off guard. But I like that. I like the way that guy build it up. I'm going to hire him. All right, so getting into the game, this is my mindset. The coach basically told us when we walked out of the locker room, he said, look, if you guys want a chance, if, if you want a chance at all, you got to come out on fire. As I pulled a midi, money y'all know my jump shot is wet man y'all know that so let's be honest here the only advantage that i have in this game is the fact that i am a great shooter and i don't need much space if i get one little step i gotta take that shot that's all i got and in the game this colossal i was gonna say big but it's bigger than big you see me step up right here rainmaker i gotta drop that ordinarily you guys know i run out on the wing but i had one step on neil and i pulled a shot so I thought I ripped them right there. They say I didn't right here. Terry. I thought. But instead, that's two early fouls. It's the first quarter. I got two fouls. That changes everything. It changes my defensive approach. I can't play nearly as aggressive as I need to play against this guy. I got two quick fouls. All right, but let me get back to the game. You see I'm jumping the pass and lane there. I knew the pass was going to Neil. I jump it. Westbrook is not quite able to get to the basket. That's cool. They throw the double team on me. I free up, call for it again. And this time, I go to the basket strong, slinging elbows. Who want it, man? The skinny dude can get big in the paint. I told y'all that. I get big in the paint when it's time to. 
So you see Neil beating everybody back. This is his thing, and I, I got to remember that. This is his thing. He's super fast. He's bigger, faster, and stronger than me. So he beats people back. But right now, we're just exchanging punches, exchanging blows. You know, I went right back at him. I got to. So like I said, the only advantage I got is my jump shot. <laughs> You can't really tell right there. The second quarter just started. It was a little heat check. You know, heat check. I just had to see was I hot. And I'm not. But it's all good. So I'm pretty sure I stole that. But you know what? God, dog. That's three fouls at the beginning of the second quarter. That changes everything, y'all. Especially when he go back to the basket. Because I can't, I can't really do anything. So I get lucky here and he missed the shot. And it was pure luck. And I'm off on the break. Definitely attacking the basket. Neil was behind me. I looked up and I saw Austin Rivers and I just chuckled. I said, boy, your daddy couldn't even stop me. What Debo say? Get knocked out like your daddy used to. Doc can't even stop me in the paint. I know Austin can't. All right, so the game was looking good at this point. We're controlling and then I see this and I said, oh, crap. A mismatch. I had to run out there and guard Austin. I had to respect the jump shot. And as a result of that, Little bitty Russell Westbrook got left with Neil Bridges in the paint. Anybody want to say plus two? <laughs> All right, so you see Neil right here with one of his patented moves, the spinning 360, whatever you want to call it. Somebody should call that the spin cycle or the whirlwind. I think I'm the only person that really named my moves like that. Speaking of my moves, I felt a certain kind of way. I had to come back with the Ricky. Whoa. Got him in the air. Look, the Ricky Bobby is unstoppable. If it's one move that's unstoppable, it's the Ricky Bobby. All right. All right, so I have absolutely no idea why I'm showing you that free throw, in case someone is wondering. I have no idea. So right here, I told you guys if I get a step, I can take the shot. So what I do, step back, create some space, let it go. And then water dripped out the nets. That's what happens out here. So you see Neil taking me to the post. Maybe one spin too many. Got a little too fancy. Turn the ball over on the baseline. We're in control right now. If we don't make any mistakes, I, my mindset was get the biggest lead you can get because when this guy gets going, he's going to be rolling like a freight train. I already knew it. I knew it. So right now, it's still operation. Get it up. So maybe I get too greedy right here. I call for the alley-oop instead of calling for a regular pass. Durant with a great look at the three, but he can't convert it. And even though I jumped the passing lane, I don't have a, I don't have a teammate anywhere near. So Neil, what does he do? He beats everyone back. That's his thing, y'all. And the two-hand windmill on my boy Durant. I have said this before. Durant is not known for his defensive proudness. Somebody said to me that uh, Durant wasn't guarding LeBron in the in the final. Somebody said that in the comment section. And sir, you are wrong. Durant was guarding LeBron in the finals until his ass got in foul trouble. And then somebody else was. All right. So this time I'm showing you this free throw on purpose because I want you to see this stat on. Look at this. What you want to do about it, Neil? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get mental. I'm trying to get in this guy's head, man. We've been rivals since college, even though we're still in college. That's a long story. I'm confusing myself here. But, yo, he's University of North Carolina. I'm University of Miami. We're both ACC, even though you know the heels kicked our ass every year as Durant is able to get the rainmaker to fall. So in this thing here, the tables have turned. You know, Miami's not that talented on the hardwood. But I come out here and I'm rolling with the thunder. We beefed up. So Neil does a great job of making sure I can't get the ball. It makes Durant force a bad shot. And guess who beats everyone back? Neil. What do you, what, what do you call that? Cherry picking like a mug. The dude is, he beat us back every time. And the crazy thing is he's not even cherry picking. It's just when he turns around to run, he finna beat everybody back. The dude is lightning fast. He's really built on the LeBron James model. But it's cool. If I get a spot, I'm taking the shot. And I do. I don't know why I didn't take that one there. It looked like a smart thing to do is throw the alley -oop to Russell Westbrook. But Russell, uh, you know, I told y'all, he had them Russell moments. You never know what Russell Westbrook you're going to get. Somebody in the comment section said, Spade, you're just a Westbrook hater, sir. You trying to tell me you watch basketball and you don't think that Russell can go from great to crap? Because I've seen him do it. So maybe you only watch on the great days. But at any rate, at the end of the second, I play perfect defense on Neil Bridges. Wow. I mean, the dude's a superstar. He can make those. But you can't play any better defense than I just played. That's the best defense you can play on a fadeaway. 
So we still got a double digit lead at the half. I'm showing you some of the stats. And our turnovers right now is killing the Hornets. Turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. And I imagine right about this time the coach was telling them, turnovers are killing us and Neil take over. So I'm telling myself, I got to continue to score because I know the NBA is a game of runs. This team will run and they got this guy right here. I know they're not laying down. So I showed this. I put this in the video because that made me feel a certain kind of way. That's my dunk. That's the ball see ball. For the third quarter, Neil Bridges was on a mission. You see right here, he jumps the passing lane, steals the ball, but he tries to be too passive. He's passing the teammates right there. I don't really understand why. And uh, as a result, they don't get points. We end up getting points. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. In the third quarter, we was on our heels. We was reeling. I couldn't get help from teammates. And uh, for the most part, I was just trying to stay alive. As I say, I can't get help from teammates. I get one of Russell Westbrook's few points. And this is just the nastiest thing I've ever seen before in my life. You see my dude with his hand up like me. And as the jersey says, that's now number four, y'all. That's my fourth foul of the game, and the third quarter just started. As I said before, defensively, I cannot be as aggressive as I need to be. And it's going to really kill us here in the third. Neil Bridges is great at jumping passing lanes. Y'all know that. Y'all watch his videos. So you see right here, he gets another one. That's like his second or third steal of the third quarter already. And you see my defense is non-existent. I don't want to get another foul. So right here, he gets yet another steal. Now, we get lucky enough here that he can't find the shot he wants. I got some help on defense. He passes it off. And even though he gets it back with a great look and a flame under his foot, I get lucky. We're at home here. So I come back, y'all. If I get a spot, I take the shot. And that one right there wasn't the prettiest shot, but it fell. And that's all that matters. So I'm trying to hold him off. I feel the run coming. He's going back to the basket. You see I'm trying not to let him actually get his body weight on me. I keep backing up because I know I can't stop him in the post, especially in foul trouble. He gets the basket. I'm just trying to hold on at this point, y'all. But guess what? Neil Bridges gets yet another steal. I'm tripping in the third. What's going on with third quarter spade? This guy sucks. I'm trying to hold a lead, though. I'm trying to hold a lead. Neil is just dribbling around. This time he finds a teammate, and again, his teammates are just not helping him at this point. At some points, his teammates was there, and it was a lot of times that they really just hung him out to dry. All right, so right here, I'm trying to find a shot that I want. If I get the spot, I'm going to take the shot. I get the midi to fall because it's money, as the nickname says. The game is looking good, but I'm telling y'all, the run is on. I can't stop this guy, and I don't know why he keeps passing the teammates, but I appreciate it. And only Russell Westbrook could get a fast break. All he had to do was just lay it up or go with a quick dunk. And guess who beats everybody back on the other end? Tired of saying that guy's name. All right, so things are cool at this point. I mean, we're losing the, the momentum, but we still got a big enough lead that it's not panic time yet. So you see me right here still trying to create the space. I'm stepping back. This time I dump it off. Can we get some buckets? Let's go. Let's go. I need help from my teammates in this quarter. Not getting any from Russell Westbrook. Just not getting any. Luckily for us, we get the offensive rebound. And look at this play here. I'm like, go. Go to the basket. Shoot. But he don't. And it's cool. So I had to throw up some BS. It don't fall. So I'm looking right here. It's the end of the third quarter. I know Neil wants the last shot. And I'm telling myself on everything, I can't let this dude convert another buzzer beater. All right. Rainmaker.